Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q4 of the weekly contest 295 minimum obstacle removal to reach corner. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know how you got to the corner. Uh, or maybe not. How many obstacles did you have? I don't know. Just come hang out. We'll chill. Uh, anyway, this poem is actually, um, and you could kind of see on, I mean, on the scoreboard, a lot of people did it in a couple of minutes. Um, I think even the ones were about wow, two minutes. So I wouldn't say this is an easy poem, but it is a poem that a lot of people have seen before, especially if you're in the top and a lot of people from China, it seems like. Um, so that's why there are a lot of quick scores. Uh, and I myself, as you can see, uh, did it in about four minutes. And I was a little bit, I was just double checking a lot of things because um, I've been doing, I've been sloppy lately is the, is the frank answer. Um, but yeah, so here, the way that we do it is with Dijkstra's algorithm. It's the shortest path algorithm where uh, the, the cost of a path is the number of obstacles. So what that means is that, so say given this example, you can say that for each cell, you can go up, down, left, right, as it is. Yeah, you can go up, down, left, right, as they tell you in a problem. And the distance is just zero from adjacent cells. If, if it's free, if it, if it requires an obstacle, then you just add up the, the cost, one cost to the obstacle. And then at the end, you just try to go to the, to the corner as cheap as possible. Um, and that's basically the idea here. Um, and I actually kind of have a little suboptimal thing where I don't terminate early. But but in any case, um, yeah, this is very standard Dijkstra's algorithm. Um, after we already talked about uh, what we had, I'll go over the code. But, but yeah, and I don't know that there's an easy, clean way of kind of coming up with this. But I think if you have done enough Dijkstra's algorithm. This is a, a variant that comes up from time to time with respect to just thinking about what is the distance function, right? On a, uh, and this one, um, I was tempted to do breath first search, but but yeah, at the way end, it's um, uh, uh, it is going to be um, Dijkstra's algorithm. Though I was thinking about it like literally in the last minute that you can probably also do a zero one. BFS because you can just add add to the front if it's zero, add to the back if it's one. Um, I think that actually works as well. So I, let me just put a note here. Uh, can be can also be done with zero one BFS. Um, if you don't know what that is, um, maybe look it up and practice that. Um, I think this is a pretty straight. But I, for me, Dijkstra is always going to be quite simple uh, because I've done it a billion times. Where for zero to one BFS. Or zero, or not zero one. Well, it's I think it's called zero one BFS, but also uh, fun back BFS, maybe something like that. Um, but yeah, but that's such a special case that I I rather um, get used to be Dijkstra and uh, and yeah, and E log E is going to be fast enough uh, as we always talk about. And this is yeah, the the complexity is going to be E log E. This is and the, and that's relatively straightforward, uh, well, or not straightforward, just that. It happens so often that um, I'm probably not even going to go over the complexity here that much because it is, like I said, just something that I've done a lot of times. To, so definitely check those videos out. But yeah, uh, time is E log E. And of course, um, in this case, E is equal to uh, R times C um, times four, if you will. But obviously, in big O notation, is still the same. Um, so yeah, it's going to be RC times log RC and space is all, is going to be all of RC just because for each of the heap elements, uh, you have one, uh, element maybe, um, but, and also distances is, is going to be, uh, well, technically I guess four times, but, but yeah, this is obviously all of, all of R times C. Um, cool. Uh, I'm going to delete this back a little bit. No, it's fine. Yeah. Um, yeah, let, th th this is mostly the code. Let me know what you think. Maybe I may slightly small so I can fit in one screen. But yeah, um, the explanation is already longer than my self speed so, and a lot of people's self speed. Uh, even these, I think people just skipped ahead and then came back to Q3. It was rather a weird Q3 this contest. So yeah, uh, let me know what you think. You could watch me self it live during the contest now. Okay, cool. Uh, that was a very expensive. Very slow answer, but apparently not that we've forgotten it. Maybe I don't know if that's true actually. Let's see, 
37 per round. And okay, so we just have to do this one real fast. Um, okay. So we can move from upper left. And, okay. Uh, okay, this is just regular breath for search. So. Um, okay. Oh. Hmm. <clears throat> okay, so actually, yeah. Wait, maybe it's not the community. Ten to the fifth. Um, do, 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 do. Minimum of obstacles to remove. Yeah, I guess this is just uh, Dystra. Um, yeah, okay. Um, yeah. Um, um, let's say D X Y. Equals bring the hip pop of age if t is greater than distances of x y continuing otherwise um um okay and then now. Is equal to D if grid of NX and Y is equal to one and then do, do, do. Uh, hip Q dot hip push H and D and X and Y um, if distances of NX and Y is greater than N D to this and then you put this and I think this should be good. Is there an impossible? Well, I guess it's just min, so it should be okay either way. Um, is this fine? Should be fine, but let's have a silly typo, which happens a lot. That's why I'm taking a step. All right, whatever. Just give it some minute. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, that was a very easy part. Hey, uh, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, give me some love and support. Uh, yeah, stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. I'll see you later and take care. Bye-bye.